Okay, this video is to show you how um, to use the CAM scanner. And I'm going to go ahead and cover um, all the information. So for the CAM scanner, you do have to download the CAM scanner app. And um, let's go there. Okay. And so once you download that app, it should have an icon that looks like this. And so I'm going to open that icon. And I've got a bunch of documents in there, but we're going to go ahead and start out over by hitting the camera. And I haven't actually written on my paper. So on the front side, we're supposed to be putting our name. Okay. And then I'm supposed to take a photo. So excuse me while I grab the image. Okay. Once it has the image, it's going to pop up these little boundaries. So I want to make sure that I get my entire um, paper. So if I had like the desk area around or anything else extra, you can kind of use this to crop it out. And then you would click on next. And then it'll give you a bunch of options on how you want the image to look. So you can look, use the original. Um, you can use a lightener. You could use a magic color. This one, because I'm using a pencil, kind of lightens some of my lighter strokes. So I don't necessarily, if you're using a pencil, maybe selecting that one. Um, the grayscale is probably the one that provides the best image for my paper with my device. Now, you play around with the different options and select the one that looks best for um, your photo. Okay, and I'm going to hit actually before I hit save I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to change my name to practice for math class hit OK and then now I'm going to save it now um, I can add more images to the same file so to do that instead of exiting and hitting the back button don't do that stay within this um, submission do all your photos in order. So page one was this page, and then page two I'm about to do right now. So click on the camera again, and on the back side, or on your second sheet of paper, I asked to draw a smiley face, right? So I'm gonna take an image of that, and then the same thing pops up again. You wanna move your boundaries, oops. Here we go, boundary here, something's happening with my um, device boundary there boundary there oh gosh um so i'm not sure exactly what's happening here let me go back and try it again um let me make sure that my phone is clean that has never happened to me before so let me go back let me discard this photo My phone has been acting a little weird lately. Um, I'm trying to discard it. Okay, there we go. Now I can take another image and then hopefully I can crop this one a little bit better. There we go. It seems to be working a little bit better now. Okay. And then I'm going to hit next. And I think I like this one better or even possibly the original, but I think I like the gray still better. So I'm going to hit OK. Now that both of my pages are there, I'm ready to start sharing. Um, if you have more pages, then you would simply just keep clicking the camera, keep it cropping it the way it needs to be cropped, selecting the correct mode, and then moving on to save and then repeating the whole process all over again for every page that you have to upload, okay? Since I'm only uploading these two pages, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the share icon, which is up here. So I'm gonna click on that. And then I wanna select PDF because for the practice assignment, it must be a PDF file. So I'm gonna click that. Um, there's some watermarks here. Don't worry about removing the watermarks. The free version um, allows, you to use the all the functionality of it 
The only thing is, is that if you use the free service, um, it does come with a watermark on your document and it does pop up ads every now and then. But to me, that's really not that bad of a nuisance since we're probably only gonna be using it about twice this semester, okay? Um, so just ignore that and go ahead and hit share. And then you can save it to your iCloud or to your Google Drive, or you can email it to yourself. Regardless of which option you choose, you are going to have to download that file to your computer. So for me, I just like to email it to myself, but um, just because my email is easier to get into than to try to get into my Google Drive. Um, so I'm just gonna email it to myself. And hit next. And so now it's it should have emailed me. So I'm gonna hit my back, my back, and just kind of exit out of that. I'm done with my phone. So um, that's pretty much how you use the cam scanner. Now, what I want to continue is on on a canvas, we want to get back into um, we want to be able to upload this file, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to log into my ACES because that's where I sent my email. And they should have it in here. Might take a little while. Let's see. Let me double check in my phone to make sure I actually sent the file, but I believe I did. Okay, oh, there it is. So here we have that, I'm gonna open it. And then actually I can just click save. So I'm gonna save the file. I believe it's gonna save it under my downloads, um, but we'll check it out right now. So you cannot see, this is not going to help you. So I'm gonna go to settings. And I'm gonna enter the student view real quick so that when I click on this assignment, um, I will see what you see. Now, I have already submitted it trying to do a, a video beforehand, but that video did not record any sound. So I'm going to click resubmit just so that um, I can download or upload what I have. Now, that was an old file. So let me look under downloads. Ah, that's the new file. So open, submit. And then I can even click here just to make sure that it actually downloaded it. Um, it says that I did, it says it submitted, but yes, this is the correct file. So we're good. Now I'm gonna exit the student view because now I'm gonna explain what's gonna happen from here. So I followed all of these steps and I've uploaded it and everything, okay? But remember what I mentioned during the Zoom session. Um, I'm not gonna mark, you cannot, take the final exam until this assignment is marked complete. And I will not mark the assignment complete unless I have confirmation that you've gone in and followed the directions on all the different types of annotations that I've left, okay? So I kind of want to give you a sample of what those, um, oops, I got somebody's in there, um, but I'm gonna use the test version for this, okay? And I, forgot to delete all of my mess over here. So let me delete all of that. And we're gonna go ahead and try to wait till this thing uploads so that I can see. Now I would not have graded that yet. So let's see what we've got here. For some reason it's taking quite a bit of time for it to upload this document and I'm not sure why. Let's try it again. So let me exit and go to SpeedGrader again. And then again, I don't wanna go. Oh, maybe because I'm clicking on it. Okay, let's close this again. 
normally it just comes up. See how wands just come up, came up? But if I click on test student, that one should be coming up just as well. Um, I'm not sure why this is taking so long. If we look at the previous one, we'll just look at that, okay? So I've already gone through all the steps. This was me previously going in and um, grading one because I made a file beforehand. So remember, I'm checking for a few things. One of the things I'm checking for is, did you rename your file, right? Did you follow that instruction? And then I'm gonna leave three different kinds of annotations on your document and ask you to do different tasks, okay? So one here I'm going to do is if I wanna point something out to you, I can point it out like um, here, I would say something like you should have used a cap capital S, right? Um, I could tell you that you have some kind of sign error there or something like this, right? And then I'm going to write to confirm you've seen this annotation. Reply to this text box with the word Okay. And that's it. That's my annotation. Okay. Now, another kind of annotation I could leave is if I actually circle something. Um, so I could circle something you have and say um, this should have been negative. Something like that, right? And then to oh, for some reason I did this wrong. Delete that. Okay. Okay. Um, to confirm. There we go. So let me finish with this one to confirm. You've seen this annotation. Reply to this text box with the phrase. Got it. And everybody's directions will be different. I might ask you to type in something else, whatever it is, okay? But you'll be given some kind of direction for that annotation, okay? The other kind of um, annotation that I could leave is an assignment comment. Now these, depending on how you have your settings set in Canvas, if I leave a comment here, these will you might get an email for, okay? Whereas these, you will not see them unless you open the assignment and you view the feedback. But if I leave something here, it'll say like, be sure to, to view the feedback on your practice document, okay? Um, and then again, to confirm, you've seen this annotation or comment, um, reply in the comment section with the word complete. Okay, and I'll submit it that you might get an email for. Okay, you won't get an email for the annotations I make here, but you will get an email for an assignment comment. Okay, now I'm not going to grade this person yet because in order for me to give them the grade, I have to verify that they followed these um, things, these instructions that I've left here. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back into student view because once I've submitted that comment, I will go in and text you and let you know that I've viewed your um, assignment and for you to go um, follow the directions that are left in the annotations. So if I go in here as a student, I'm going to click on practice and then I'm going to cl click on submission details. So once I open the assignment, I'm gonna click on submission details and then I only see the comment. I don't see the annotations. So I'm gonna make sure that I click on view feedback 
and then I can see the annotations. Now it may look a little bit different if you're using the app, the Canvas app on your phone versus if you're viewing your feedback um, on a computer, okay? And so again, I don't know why this particular one is taking a long time to, um, to work. Let me go back and cancel submission details. Well, for some reason it's giving me an error here. And if it gave me an error when I was grading it, I would have let you know to resubmit your document. But normally what happens here is in this box, you would see the exact same thing that I saw when I was leaving the annotations. So you would see the little thing that I circled and you would see my little comment. And if you scroll over that comment, um, you should see the word reply and then you can click on it. So let me leave this. Um, I have no idea why it's taking forever to upload. Like no idea. That has never happened to me before. And for some reason when I finally get my sound to work, it's not working for me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go to view feedback. And this is just not working for me. So I'm going to go to, um, oh my goodness, what am I in? Let me go back to my home page. There we go. And then go to my practice and then go to my speed grader. And so what eventually happens is that um, when you click on the view feedback, you'll see my annotations. Okay, remember this one's not working for some reason, right? So you'll see these comments. And if you scroll over the comment or if you click on it, notice that the reply button pops up, okay? That's what you would click on and you would type in your reply and you would say, okay, then you would click on this box, type in the reply and say, got it. And then you would come over here and you would um, text in this box and hit submit. Now, of course, it'll have your face there because you're the one texting that. But I would come in and I would make sure that these three things are done. Once those three things are done and they're correct, um, then I would have gone in and just submitted the 100, okay? So that's the way it works, and that's how you can get marked um, complete for this assignment. But that's it. I'm pretty much done with this tutorial, so I will go ahead and stop the video now.